All right, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to work with themes, style sets, and uh, templates, okay? You wanna be able to know the differences, distinct difference between template, style, and theme. Essentially, they all provide different ways to format your Word documents. Templates contain styles and defined settings for your page layout, um, headers and footers, and other similar elements. Themes, on the other hand, uh, they apply a layer of formatting that specifies fonts for body and heading text, colors for headings and other elements, and effects such as shadows. And finally, the style or style sets, they specify settings for your fonts, paragraphs, tabs, and other formatting that are applied as a group to paragraphs and characters. So you want to be able to uh, know the distinct differences between templates, styles, and themes. All right, let's take a look at some, some of the fun stuff, right? So we're gonna take a look at how to create themes for your document. So themes are found under the design template and I'll show you um, what themes are, how we can work with them, um, and then how the document formatting works, you know, from the colors and the effects and watermark uh, within your document you can place. Some of these things are pretty straightforward, but helpful to use, helpful to know. Uh, even if you know them already, um, they'll be a good practice for you. So I've opened this document, right? Same research uh, proposal document that we've been working with. So we need to uh, work with themes, right? So what are themes? These are either built-in themes. Um, Office gives a lot of built-in themes that you can apply. Or you can browse for more themes online. Or you can create your own and then save the current theme. Themes are just changes to the, to the entire document. And the document format group shows you um, how and they will reflect on within your document okay here are the colors so you can change the colors various combinations if you need to customize it you can customize the color and it allows you to change your background colors your um, accent colors your hyperlinks and so forth so let's say if I want to call this research proposal I'm going to create a new theme color I'm going to have my background as Ooh, my text background as yellow and I want to be able to give some effects here also a little different so we can see exactly um, how it works so my hyperlinks would, would show up as red and once someone clicks on it it will change into blue so we will reverse that so I've given it, given it a name, that's my new theme color, and I click save, and Word saved it for me. Um, and I can apply it. All right, here's my watermark. I can apply um, existing watermarks. I can get more watermarks from office.com. I can create or custom, uh, insert a custom watermark. A couple of ways you can do this. You can either do a picture watermark or a text watermark. Okay. If I do a picture watermark, then I need to be able to select uh, the picture. I can select it either by going online, or I can say um, I want to be able to work offline. Okay, so it just depends on where you want, what kind of picture you want. So I'm going to work offline here. I'm going to select one of these existing pictures, and my option is either scale it to auto, which is Word will adjust it according to the page, or depending on I can specify the size uh, as well. I can have a washout picture, okay, and you'll see just a minute what that does. It just blurs it a little bit more. And once I hit apply, I will notice Word inserts the picture, okay, that's a little dimmed. So I'm going to uncheck this and apply again so you'll be able to see it. Same thing with text watermark. Side. This is pretty handy and uh, normally used in most cases. Um, so for instance, if you need to insert text, such as ASAP, or you can select confidential copy, no copy, draft, original, um, sample, and, and, and so forth. Okay, so if I say, let's say, if it, this is a draft, I can change the font, size, color, if need be. If I could say, I want this color, semi transparent, and apply. The word is going to put the draft within my document. Okay. So, a handy way to to let the users know that this is a draft or this is a sample or this is the original document and so forth. Same thing I can do with page color. 
So maybe you hover over a color where it changes it. Okay, so pretty neat. Work with it. Depending on uh, the type of color you have, you can adjust it uh, to your own requirement. So it just depends on how you want it. You can also have fill effects of various colors. You can vertical. You can have diagonal. Two colors. You can insert a texture pattern and then picture if you like. Okay. So it just depends on your own choice. Page borders. Again, straightforward. Um, you can have a box border around. Uh, you can have a 3D effect. Uh, you can specify the widths here, colors. So on black uh, one. I can also have certain other built-in borders that comes with uh, Word 2013. Okay. So again, you can you can play with it. Very powerful. Take a look. You can design some fancy-looking brochures, flyers um, on the fly. Okay. So Word 2013 gives you that ability. Um, to do this. Uh, so we've taken a look at some of the document formatting, some themes. Okay, you can apply the entire themes to your document. Um, I notice that once I hover over a certain theme, my text, this text changes. So depending on uh, the type of theme, I can save the current theme, I can browse, or I can uh, apply any one of these. Okay. Once you've specified all these options, uh, you can you can even create your fonts. You can customize fonts for your theme. So, for example, if I'm looking for setting a new theme font as a theme, all right, set to Gothic here, and my body font is also going to be Gothic, and it shows me the preview. Okay? And I can save this. New theme font as well. Okay. Same thing with effects. You can work with some of these effects if you like. And you can do some paragraph spacing so it tells you what word does is you wish to have this paragraph spacing depending on how you set it up you can always set up your own spacing and set up some options and again notice uh, these are all your styles so we've been working with styles quite a bit um, so by this time you're probably confident working with styles all right so i just wanted to quickly show you in this tutorial uh, working with theme fonts if you're designing brochures working with your internal flyers and, and so forth so it's pretty neat and once you've designed a certain theme um, you can save it okay so you can save the current theme by where uh, by default where it saves it as the uh, the extension called THMX okay it's by office themes and you can say research theme, and you save it the default folder of course is the document themes on the simpler folder you can save it any way you like. If you want to save it on desktop, you can do that. Okay. And you can reuse it. So let's take a short quiz. 